coil enabled. Yeah. Coil enabled. Yeah. Coil enabled. Yes. To the lifeboats, YouTube, coil enabled. Yes. I mean, we could do this with Twitch as well, but I can't find one off the top of my head. But coil enabled. No. And this is this is the problem. I mean, great influencers like Coin Market Cap, they should have a responsibility to make sure that they are using everything in their power to set up and add coil on their website. I mean, this has been one of my pet peeves. And I thought, well, actually, it's not that hard to set up a coil address. It's not that hard. Like, it literally takes five minutes to set up. In fact, once you've got your payment pointer from Uphold, like, it really is not that long at all five ten minutes tops to set up and it just frustrates me that not enough people are, are signing up to coil or using what's what infrastructure is currently out there these people should know better to be perfectly honest but enough of these okay so you've got two different accounts at the moment you've got the creator and you've got the content viewer for me personally on both i've set it up because i'd like to know how these things work content creator myself so I wanted to learn how to set up a website on there and set up that sort of thing and also I actually want to use the platform I mean many people that know me actually know I cannot stand adverts I absolutely despise them <laughs> it's quite ironic really but like I've got my reasons I probably wouldn't feel that it's best to share them on here but I have my reasons for them but basically all these websites that keep popping up going oh you're using an ad blocker well i'm sorry but i'm paying for coil monthly and i'm also using brave now that to me is to me is where i think the future should be going where i think the future should be i mean brave want to be something like spotify so imagine like you have your internet sorry coil wants to be a bit like spotify so imagine that you've got your internet package and other things what would be nice is hey do you want to pay an extra five pounds a month and then with with that you don't get any adverts effectively that would be the, the ideal way of going or you can stick to the current advertisement model now i think this is brilliant coil because you're actually paying for what you're using rather than sign up to loads of subscriptions here there and everywhere so for me this is where i think the future should be going and this is why i'm supporting companies like coil that stream payments to content creators that way so the break the actual coil extension so you're able to get that through manage extensions you'll see coil that's lit up here so effectively just go on the brave web store and you can download coil from brave or if you're using firefox again you can manage extensions on there as well i mean i think they actually use what they call the puma browser originally which is built into the browser but i i use brave and, and firefox so that's that to me is is what i use so i mean you should be able to find the extension for your plugin and the latest version of edge which is also chromium you're able to get the actual extension for edge as well so i mean it's widely available for everyone to get so the next thing we need to do is looking at actually setting up a payment pointer so i've just quickly signed into uphold so all you need to do now is literally click on the wallet that you want. I mean, you can use others as well. I've just used Uphold because that's where I've signed up to previously and they are a very good exchange, in my opinion. So all I've done is literally just click on the XRP, add funds, or there may be a little right button if you're on mobile in there. So click on the From Interledger payment and we're going to need this payment pointer just here. So with that, I'm able to copy that on my website or sign up to YouTube from Coil itself. Okay, so with this payment pointer, what I can do is I can add that on Coil, add it on my website or add it on WordPress, for example. So Twitch is done a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go on to Coil. 
Okay, so I've just quickly clicked on sign it. I put my email address in. I'm going to agree to their conditions. I've just put my password in. So I'm going to click on next. They're going to send me an account or a code, which I'm going to put in. Okay, so now I've just literally got my account and we're going to set one up on Uphold, which is the payment pointer which I got a moment ago. So if I click on that, select Uphold, I mean I can use other, I can use GateHub, but we're going to use the Uphold one. I think actually you can set any particular one from probably your Pay ID account or maybe your TipBot account, which is what I used to use as well. So back in the day. So that's the payment pointer which I just got from up. I'll just literally copy that in and paste that in there. Lovely. And we're set up on coil. It is literally, for me, that easy. So if I just quickly take this information here. So what I can do now is I can still use this information. So this is my coil. I can connect up my YouTube account on here, which I've already done on my main account. And with that information in there, I can actually use that on my website. So if I just quickly go back onto one of mine, what you can do is you can add that tag. You can effectively add that tag in the head tag. And uh, in, if you obviously, if you know HTML, that kind of thing. But if you don't, or if you've got a WordPress blog, for example, effectively what you can do is just quickly set this up. Bear with me a second. So to prove how easy this is, effectively all I've done is just literally loaded up a basic version of WordPress. I'm going to assign this on my on a local on a local server of mine. Now, obviously, I'm going to assume you've already got your own WordPress website out there if you're looking to add one, of course. So you wouldn't necessarily need to do this, but I'm just again just demonstrating how easy it is to set up this payment pointer on Coil. So if I hit submit, run the installation, call this Coil. Give this a username, the Davy92. Um, install, I'll just call that test. It really, really doesn't matter. All right, that's going to do that. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to now log in. <clears throat> right, so now I've logged in, literally all I would do is just go into the plugins area, add new and you will find a coil ex coil plugin in actual wordpress itself and you can install that coil platform in there that's installed and literally activate it and literally all i need to do now is open up the coil monetization plugin which is down here go into global settings and paste that ILP pointer in so that would be that same ILP pointer which I got from Uphold directly so if I hit save changes go into content settings so at the moment it is currently disabled so if I wanted the post to be monetized but I want the and the pages to be monetized but yeah I want the shall we say coils members only to be the actual post I'm writing a premium blog I actually want people to sign up to coil so they can actually view the actual post so if you're not a coil member you wouldn't actually get to see them if it was set to that but anyway I'll just click monetize for public hit save and now go to localhost coil what do you know that's actually monetize now so bear with me I'm just going to sign into my main account and we'll see this in action okay yep coils in action now I've just signed into my main account and what do you know so effectively if I was to go in I could actually lock this lock this down etc so that's the beauty of it so I'd love to see more people actually use coil 
I'd love to see more people use it. Well now hopefully with the video that I've done, a guide of setting it up, it should be even easier now. So now that you can set it up, let us know how you get on. I'd love to know. But please don't be a coin market cap and say that they're simply not interested. I mean, they should be leading by example. The fact that they told me personally that they're not interested, I think is a little bit sad to say the least. I mean, it bothers me so much. This is one of my pet peeves because being a web developer myself. So I take this sort of stuff really passionately. So I'd like to see more people get involved. So if you do, let us know in the comments and like and subscribe as always i don't think i mentioned that in the other videos but that would be great help me out as well but on that note i'm going to finish up drink my cup of tea as always and uh catch you around see you later